Welcome. Today, we'll be making grilled steak with borson mushroom sauce. I'm Chef Jeff, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School online. All right, so we're gonna get started with our steaks. And we have got these beautiful boneless ribeyes, but you could really use any grilling steak for this. We're gonna start off with some melted butter, and I'm just gonna put a nice liberal spoonful right on there. We're gonna do both of them. You know, butter makes everything better, so I wanna make sure we get plenty all over this steak. And this butter is gonna also, not only is it gonna taste good, and help with the cooking, but it's also gonna help our seasoning to stick. So we've got this mushroom seasoning, dried mushroom seasoning going right on there. And we're gonna season from a little bit up on high so we get a nice even spread. There we go. A lot of people, they just season the one side when they're seasoning their steaks. Gotta do both sides. So let's go ahead and flip these guys over. And we're gonna do it again. More butter. All right, and more of that dried mushroom seasoning. All right, so I'm just gonna take these and let them rest and get started on our sauce. All right, let's make this Borson mushroom sauce. We're gonna start out with some melted butter right here in our pan. And I'm gonna add to that some mushrooms. We've got some sliced shiitakes. And then we've got our gourmet mushroom blend, which has sliced shiitakes, oyster mushrooms, and baby bellas. And we're gonna let these cook in this butter. Now, a lot of the flavor from mushrooms is gonna come from the sear, so we wanna make sure we get some color on these. And then we're gonna let them cook for about six to seven minutes until they're fully cooked. All right, so our mushrooms have been beautifully cooked. They've got a lot of nice color on them. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add some sherry. About a half a cup of bone broth. And some onion base, fantastic. Now I'm just gonna go ahead, stir this in, get it all combined, and we're gonna let this cook for four to five minutes until it's reduced by about half. We are nicely reduced, looking great. I'm gonna go ahead and add the borson. And we wanna get this in and let it melt and really fully combine, so you wanna keep stirring the whole time. It's gonna help keep the borson in contact with the bottom of the pan. It'll help it to melt and also make sure that we get it incorporated with all of these mushrooms, all of these great flavors, the sherry, the bone broth. All right, and it's looking like we are fully combined, heated through, looks great, smells fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this off the heat and we're gonna hold it until we're ready to use it. I'm gonna go get our steaks so we can get started with those. All right, these steaks are beautiful. They're room temperature, which is gonna help them to cook evenly. We've got a nice, very hot grill pan, so we're gonna go ahead and get these in the pan. That is the sound you wanna hear. The hardest part to me is not touching it. Once it goes in, you don't wanna do anything. Just let it go where it lays is where it stays. And we're gonna let these sear. With all proteins, once that sear is complete, it'll naturally release itself. So if you go to pick it up and it sticks, it's not ready yet. Now, we're gonna go ahead and chop these chives. We're gonna use these chives later when we plate our dish as a bit of a garnish. All right. I can smell that mushroom seasoning and butter on those steaks. Those aren't ready yet. We'll give them about three to five minutes before we turn them over. All right, so these have been going for a few minutes. Should have a nice sear. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that flip. We're gonna let these go for about three to five more minutes, not touch them until they release themselves from the pan. 
All right, so these steaks have been going for a few minutes. They're looking good. Come right off of the pan. They don't stick, they're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and pull these off and we're gonna let them rest. Now, the rule is you wanna let it rest for about half the time it was cooking. So I'll let these rest for the next three or four minutes while I get the rest of everything we need to make our dish. All right, so we've heated our potatoes for the package instructions. Our sauce is hot, our steaks have rested. Let's go ahead and make this dish. So we'll start out, I'm gonna cut this steak. Beautiful. Now, if you don't rest your meat before you cut it, you'll see a lot of fluid coming out while you're slicing it. You really need to rest it so that all of that liquid has a chance to reincorporate back into the meat. All right. So let's start with a little bit of these mashed potatoes. Get a few pieces of this beautiful steak. I can still smell this Borson mushroom sauce. I'm looking forward to this. And we'll garnish with some of those chives. All right. All that's left now is to taste it. A little bit of the ribeye, some mash, some of this Borson mushroom sauce. Hmm. The mushroom sauce with the mushrooms on the steak, the creaminess of the potatoes, the creaminess, the Borson, everything marries so well in this dish. It really is fantastic. Grilling doesn't have to be done outdoors or make a mess. You can grill restaurant quality steaks in your own kitchen. Click the link below for the full recipe and exact measurements and subscribe for more Publix Abrams Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Thank you for joining us.